Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Chart Check. And uh, in this, we are going to see two stocks which have a convergence between technicals and fundamentals. And uh, the two stocks that I have for you for this week are a revisitation of something which we have covered uh, earlier. Gujarat Fluorochemical was something that I had covered a couple of months back with uh, initiated with a target at about 1200. And those have been reached. And uh, I think the way it is positioned on the charts right now, it's uh, even now looking pretty spiffy and uh, holds out promise of more. So what is interesting about Gujarat Fluoro chart, let's take a look at it. What is standing out clearly is that the stock uh, has been into a fine uptrend, which has been very, very orderly. And uh, the entire uptrend, as you can see on the chart, is now well, uh, you know, well contained by the pitchforks and uh, the lower uh, support channel of the pitchfork is picking up all the dips. And then if you look at the lower panel, the lower panel here is actually the momentum indicator. And in the momentum in indicator, if you see, there has been a nice divergence pattern. And the second fact is that the momentum pullback is to the neutral level during a reaction. And that is typically indicative of bulls not wanting to let go. Gujarat Floru has now inched up further and is on the verge of, you know, moving into all-time new highs. And when a stock does that, that's always a good signal that it wants to continue even further. So given this as a situation, Gujarat Floru, which is the leading manufacturer of PTFE, refrigerant gases, caustic soda, this is a company which uh, may look a little expensive in terms of the valuation trading at 41 times, but it has... You will look at it uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, the discount that it has for the, uh, uh, the Inox Group uh, and uh, the holding company. It deserves much better valuations. So I think if you look at the charts of Gujarat Floro, yeah, you will find that it's headed for a target uh, which should be significantly higher. From, from the current levels, I would think uh, upside of about 15 to 20 points is certainly on the cards for Gujarat Floro here. So I think that's a stock which needs to be revisited for about a target of 1180. Moving on to the second stock, we are going to take a relook at GMM Fordler. Now GMM is a company which makes glass line vessels for pharma and chemical sectors. And with the end, uh, users doing extremely well. Uh, the performance of GMM is also exceedingly good. Quarter three results were superb. And the stock, as you can see, is also caught in a superb and a very orderly uptrend, which has been going on, highs and lows being captured by the pitchfork, which has again been used to illustrate the chart. And again, in a similar fashion to the earlier one, which had shown the momentum during the pullback is down into the neutral. Now, what happens is when the trend picks up again, as is evident from the chart, that from the lower channel of the pitchfork, the trend is actually picking up. Now that's a stock wherein now the highs are being threatened and uh, this momentum should enable it to reach higher. Clearly a stock in a long-term uptrend with minimal pullbacks uh, and the pullbacks are coming back to neutral levels on momentum. Stock is enabled to go higher from the current levels. I would think a target of about 1450 is definitely possible in GMM. That's about 20% upside from the current levels.